Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a total of 18 different back to school hairstyles that last less than 10 minutes to accomplish. Here you can see some of the styles I will show you on this video, but there's lots of more. Hopefully, you will find something that suits on your style. First, I start with the ponytail style. For that, I create the middle parting on top of my head. That parting doesn't need to reach on the back because I will end the style to the high ponytail. After that, I create two curvy partings, one to the both sides. Then I will start to braid, but before braiding, I spray some water to my hair so braiding is a bit easier when hair is wet. Take three strands from the corner and start to move them alternately from side under to the middle and add hair from the left side of the braid. Right under without adding and left under with adding some hair. Right under, left under, add hair. Right under, left under, add hair. Right under, left under, add hair. And once you get a little further with the first braid, you can easily see that the braid will follow the right side of the part line. So the curvy part line when the braid turns as much as possible. This makes the look more intricate what it would be if the braid would follow the part line from the middle. Once you added all hair in, keep on braiding without adding until the end of the hair. Or if you want to put braids up inside the ponytail, I mean, then you can quit earlier when you just can make sure that the braid will reach to the ponytail. Then I will repeat the same to the another side, except this time as a mirror. So I want also this braid curve as much as possible, so that's why I add hair in on this side from the right. So the braid will follow on the left side parting, but otherwise the braid is exactly the same as on the other side. Here you can see the both braids and if you want you can also tie them back to the ponytail when the style look like about this. This is also a nice style but this time I leave these braids open and put the rest of my hair up to the ponytail. So here's the final result of this hairstyle. This one lasts easily 2 or 3 days so once you've done it you can wear it many days. Next, I will create the French headband braid. So I create the parting and this time I use just my fingers. This doesn't need to be that straight. I take three strands from the side and start to move them alternately from side over to the middle and adding hair from the both sides of the braid. This is very easy and simple braid to do for yourself, even if you wouldn't braid much before on your own hair. So left over, add hair. Right over, 
add hair. Left over, add hair. And right over, add hair in. And keep on just repeating this pattern until you braided all the hair into the braid. Except if you want to leave some accent hair out of the braid, you need to do it while still braiding. And as you can see now, I'm not adding all the hair in that I could. So I leave some hair out to frame my face. This is definitely optional, so if you want all in, you can as well do it on that way. Next, I will take small strand of hair behind and tie that with the braid on back under the rest of the hair and make sure that the braid will stay back. And here you can see the final result of this hairstyle. First, you need the middle part line that starts from the front and ends on your neck, on the back of the hair. Next, I spray some water to my hair. And then I start to braid. Take a section of hair. And share the section in three equal pieces. Start the braid by bringing strand from side under to the middle, alternately from both sides. I also add hair from the both sides of the braid. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. When you want the braid to be tight, there's a few tips that might help you to get what you want. First tip is that straighten the strand before moving it. So. When you take the new hair strand, like here, make sure that the strand is straight before you move it to the under. The second tip is that when you add hair, add it directly to the inside. So basically when I add hair, I first bring the strand under like this, and then I bring the hair and I bring it all the way almost to the another side because immediately after that I move the strand from the another side under. My third tip is that notice what you add in and where you add. When you add hair to the dots braid like this, you want the braid go under to the middle of the part line. So basically you want it to move like this. Not like this, or like this. To get the braid going on the middle, you need to add same amount of hair from the both sides, and you need to add them on the each side, so you need to imagine that line. So when you add hair from the right side, add hair that comes out on the right side of that imagined line and when you add hair from the left add hair that comes from the left side of that line you want the braid to follow it's also very important that you don't add two big pieces of hair because in that case the braid is forced to go on faster than it's really possible to create it tightly. 
So for this, the great tip is that don't add more than you already have. Basically, I mean with that, you cannot add more hair for one strand than you already have it, because if you do, you will add too much hair and then the braid won't be tight enough. But let's put some speed to the video so we can get to the next braid. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Create the rectangle part line on the side of your head. And put the rest of your hair away. Take a section of hair from the front and separate the section in five equal sections. Beginning the braid, bring strand from right, under and over the middle, then from left, under and over the middle, then again from right, under and over the middle, and from left, under and over the middle. Then I start to add hair, bring strand under and add some hair from the right side. Then move this section over the middle. Bring the section from left under, add some hair and move the strand over to the middle. Right strand under, add hair and over the middle. Left under, add hair and over the middle. Take a right strand and bring it under, add hair, and then over the middle. Left under, add hair, and over the middle. Right under, add hair, and over the middle. Left under, add hair, and over the middle. Right under, add hair, and over the middle. Keep on repeating this pattern like this until you braid the whole section into this braid. After the last addings, keep on braiding without adding more hair. When you reach the desired length, secure the braid with an elastic. And here's the final look. For this updo hairstyle, you need the rectangle parting on top. As you can see, it doesn't need to be that symmetrical, so something about is totally enough. Then you need to take three strands of hair and start to move them from side, alternately under to the middle, while adding hair from the both sides of the braid. So left under, add hair. Right under, Add hair. Left under. Add hair. And just keep on repeating this same pattern. 
When you add hair, make sure that you add same amount of hair every time. In that way, the braid grows symmetrically, but also it makes the braid follow the middle of the parting, so it won't be turned too much to either side. I think, at least to me personally, this is harder when the part line I'm braiding with is bigger when the braid grows slowly and the parting is way more smaller it's easier to keep braid in the middle after actually braiding I'm pancake the braid from both sides just pinch the edge of the hair and pull it out after that I secure the braid and put my hair up to the ponytail. Bring the hair to the front and take about quarter of the hair out. Then create a loop with the rest of the hair using the bubble. Spread the loop. Then take a small amount of hair at a time and flip that through the bubble under the first loop and repeat this as many times as you need to. Once all the ends of the hair is inside the updo, then take the quarter of hair you left out, share it in two, and create the rope twist braid. I twist strands to the left and spin over each other's to the right. Then I pancake roughly the whole braid this braid doesn't need to look that nice. The more important is that it's big. Once I braid it until the end, I secure the braid and spin it around the bun. And here's the final result of this Dutch braid hairstyle. You need a curvy part line like this. Put the rest of the hair behind and then start the braid. Take three small strands of hair and then start the braid. Bring section from side alternately under the middle. Add hair from the left side of the braid. Right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under add hair keep on repeating this pattern notice that you need to pull the hair you add in on the top of the part line getting the circular shape is based on that that you create the right shape and then you pull the hair to that shape in that way, the braid will go on the direction you draw on first place. After the last addings, you can stop braiding in here or then you can braid until the braid is on desired length. I think it's nice when the braid frames my face so I go on until the end of the hair. And here you can see how the first style looks.
Beginning the first style by creating the part lines. You need the rectangle part from the front of your head. This is for the headband. Secure the rest of the hair back so it won't be on your way. Then I create the diagonal part line to the front which separates this section in two pieces. This is how the part lines should look like. Release the another side and frost it with some water. Take the tiny piece of hair and separate the section in three pieces. Start the braid like a Dutch braid. Bring the hair from side under to the middle. On this braid, I add hair only from the another side of the braid. So bring the right section under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair, right under, left under, add hair. When you add hair, be careful not to add too much hair at the time. Great tip for this is that you can add similar amount of hair which you have in this strand already. So every time when you add hair, you can double the hair in one strand. Keep on braiding until you braided the whole section into this braid. After last addings, keep on braiding until the braid reaches on the back side of your head. At the end, these braids will tie together. Brush now the another side of the hair. Beginning the braiding by taking small piece of hair, separate the section in three pieces and start the braid again. Create the similar braid as the first one but as a mirror on this time. So left side under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Left under, right under, add hair. Keep on braiding until you have two braids on the same length. At the end, take the both braids and secure them with an elastic on the back side of your head. Then just release the rest of the hair and you're ready. This hairstyle takes in real life about 5 to 7 minutes. Next hairstyle start again with part lines. First, create the middle parting. Then, create the little bit triangle shaped part lines on both sides of your head. Put the rest of the hair away to the back. Remember that your part lines doesn't need to be perfect on the first draw. You can correct them as many times as you need to. And this is how the part lines for this hairstyle should look like. Then I start the braid. Cross the section, you start the beginning with water. Then take the section of hair and split the section in two pieces. I create the rope twist braid. 
So twist the strand to the left and spin to the right. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom section. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom. Twist left, spin right. Add hair again. Twist left, spin right. Add hair to the bottom section. Twist left, spin right. Add hair. Twist left, spin right. Keep on praying like this until you prayed the whole section into this braid. I prayed a little bit extra after the last annex so the braid will reach better to the top knot. Next, I repeat the same to the another side as the mirror. Take a section of hair, split it in two, and now twist the strand to the right, spin to the left, add hair to the bottom section. Twist right, spin left, add hair to the bottom. Twist right, spin left, add hair to the bottom. Twist right, spin left, add hair. Twist right, spin left. Keep on praying like this until you've prayed the whole section into the braid. Next, I create the top knot. Take both braids and some hair behind the braids. Then take the elastic and secure them together. Then take the ponytail and separate the ponytail in two sections. Create again the rope twist braid. Twist hair to the left and spin to the right. Twist left. Spin right. Twist left. Spin right. If you want some more volume for your braid, you can pancake the braid. Pull the edge of the stitch out of the braid. But when you're pancaking, be careful not to pull whole section out of the braid, cause in that way braid will be loose and then it will undo easily. Spin the braid around the ponytail. Then secure the bun shape you like with puppy pins. It's ready. This hairstyle took in real life about 7 to 8 minutes to accomplish. Next, I will create infinity braid half up. Start with the middle parting, and after that, create a triangle shape on each side of the parting. As a result, you should get a bigger triangle on the middle. Spray some water to the part before starting. Then, I take some hair from the front, share that in two, and then I pick smaller strand behind these two strands. And after that, I start to move that smaller strand around these two strands as an infinity shape. So turn on a side, back to downwards, 
then bring it again over to the side and turn back to downwards add on the side some hair more to the smaller strand so again bring to the middle then over turn add some hair bring again over turn add some new hair pattern is very simple and easy to do as you need only three strands even though some people struggle with this braid and for them I would advise that make sure you push the strand upwards so basically the pattern looks good when the small strand that goes around two others is tight enough and when I say tight I don't mean that you should push hair away from your scalp but you need to pull Next, I put the braid and some extra hair to the ponytail and create a bun. First, I create a loop and then I flip the ends of the hair inside the bun. As you can see, my hair is that long, I cannot do this once. So I pull the end of the hair again through as long as they all are up. And here you can see the final result. For the third look, I textured my hair a little bit. You can do this also for the straight hair. Start braiding. Take a section of hair and separate the section in three pieces. Bring the strands from side under to the middle. In this braid, I add hair from the both sides. So right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. If you want, leave some accent hair out of the braid, do it while you braid. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair. To get more volume for this look, I pancake the braid. Again, when you braid, be careful not to pancake the inside edge of the braid. When the inside stays untouchable, it will keep the braid on tight, and this way the braid will last well. Keep on repeating this same pattern until the braid reaches on the place where you want your ponytail. When you reach the desired length, secure the braid with elastic. You can pancake the braid afterwards more if you like. Next, cross your hair to the ponytail. Next, I create a twist around the ponytail to cover the bubble. I use the topsy tail tool for this. Place the topsy tail through your ponytail. Take a section of hair and spin it around the ponytail. 
Then pull the hair strand to the topsy tail and pull the topsy tail through your ponytail. At the end, I add a small accent braid to the ponytail. Take a section of hair and separate it in three sections. Start to braid a regular three strand braid. You can bring hair as well from over the middle or under. It's just up to you. I pancake my accent braid as well to create it a little bit more bigger. And here's the final look of this third hairstyle. This hairstyle takes a little bit over 5 minutes to create. Next I will create French braid updo. For that you need the side parting where to start. Then just take 3 strands of hair and start to braid like a French braid, bringing strands alternately from side over to the middle and adding hair from both sides of the braid. So right over, add hair, left over, add hair, right over, add hair, left over, add hair, and right over. Keep on repeating this pattern until the braid reaches to the point where you want your updo. If you want to leave some accent hair out, I suggest to do that while still braiding. Next, I will put the braid and the rest of the hair to the ponytail and create the updo. So I turn the hair upwards, creating the first loop with the bubble. And this comes as a bottom. I spread it a bit and secure with puppy pins if needed. Then I take one hair strand at a time and flip it through the bubble. Then take the new strand and flip and new strand. Keep on repeating this until all of the hair is inside the bun. And here you can see the final result of this look. First, I create the circular part line like this and next step is create the zigzag on top of this part line to make the part line look natural. In this way the part line won't show up at the result. Then I start the braid. First I leave some accent hair out. If you want all hair up you can also skip this step. Next, I will take three strands of hair from the front and then I will braid French braid bringing strands from each side over to the middle. After a few stitches, I start to add hair and I add hair from the both sides of the braid.
Next, I will bring all my hair together and then I tie my hair to the ponytail. Then I pancake the French braid just a little bit and release the braid. Then I take a small piece of hair and spin it around the bubble. Then I will pull the hair through the ponytail. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Next hairstyle, I begin with some hair from both sides. I bring them back together. And after that, I take small elastic and tie them together. Next, I flip the hair and pancake the itches just a little bit. Next, I split my hair in two and start from the other side. I take about half of the hair from that side, separate the hair piece in three and start the braid, just a regular three strand braid. I also add slowly the rest of the hair inside this braid. You can also take all hair in in the beginning if you like but then the braid will start a little bit lower but that's definitely more easier way if you need some. Once I've added all the hair in I keep on braiding until the end of the hair. If you like to get some extra volume for this hairstyle, you can also pancake the edges of the braid to make it look a little bit bigger. Then I will repeat exactly the same to the other side. Again, I take three strands and then I start the braid and add the half of the hair also in. The next step is tie these braids together look like they would be one braid. I use for that puppy pins and at the end I tie them together with the same elastic. And here you can see the final result of this hairstyle. Next hairstyle is cute and simple dot braid half up. You need three strands and then just start the braid bringing strands from side under to the middle and add hair from the both sides of the braid. Right under, add hair. Left under, add hair. Right under, add hair left under, add hair. After a few stitches I stop adding hair from the left side of the braid and that's why because I want this to be half up so at this point rest of the hair can be open. But I still continue braiding and add hair from the right side just a few times and then I stop adding hair also from that side and just braid until the end of the hair. You can get more volume for this hairstyle too if you pancake the edges of the braid. A 
And here's the final result of this hairstyle. For this next hairstyle, I won't create the pedant part line. I think it's nice when it's a little bit softer. Anyway, you need again 3 strands of hair and then you start the braid like a French braid. Bring strands from sides over to the middle. This time add hair from the right side of the braid. So left over, right over, add hair. 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 Keep on repeating this pattern. This time you need to pull the hair you add in over the hairline and then you can get the braid on your forehead like it would be the bangs. I don't want that braid to fall off my face, so I will add some hair under the hair that will stay open. So braid like before, and when you print right over, then add hair under the hair that will stay open. That's how I can get the braid under the hair. Then just continue braiding until it's undesired length. And here's the final result. Next in line is space gun style. You need a rectangle from top and share that piece in two. The parting doesn't need to be straight, so I use my fingers. Then I take section from each side and cross them over. Then I leave the first one out, take a new from that same side and cross again. Then I leave the previous one out. Take a strand from the another side, cross it over and leave the previous one out. So basically you have to hold one strand at a time. Take a new strand, bring it over and leave the previous one out. I hold these strands in my mouth because I easily mess up with the hair that I haven't yet bring out this woven technique so you don't really need to hold them if you just can keep up what you have bring through and what not if you can see what you do that makes the part much more easier than in my case then I put all the hair to the ponytails and then I create a row twist braid, twist to the left and spin over each other to the right. Then I pancake the edges of the row twist braid. The purpose of this is that the braid will be as big as possible so I get the big space bun. Once you spin the braid around the ponytail, secure with puppy pins. 
Then repeat the same to the other side. Twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right, and pancake the edges. To get braid bigger. Once you've done that, just secure the end of the braid and spin that braid around the ponytail. Secure with puppy pins. After that, you're ready. Next, I will create cute pigtails that you need only one and later two strands of hair. So just one strand first. Take small piece and start to adding hair like this. Take more hair, twist backwards, then take more hair and twist again. Then just continue doing this. If you like to leave accent hair, you can do it or braid all in. If you want a looser look, you don't need to change much, only twist a little bit less. If you want super tight, twist more. Then all you need to do is continue like this until you added all the hair from this side inside the braid. Then I tie the braid with elastic. Repeat the same to the another side. Again, strand of hair. Then start to adding more hair into that strand and twist after every adding. Next, I will create the rope twist braids at the end of the pigtail. So two strands, twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right, twist left, spin right. And keep on repeating this until the end of the hair. Again, you can get more looser look if you pancake the edges. And once you're finished first, Keep on repeating to the other side. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Next in line, we have a dot braid half a ponytail first you need the middle parting then i spray some water to the another side and part yet another parting under then i take three strands and start to braid like a dot braid left under add hair right under add hair left under add hair and so go on you already knew this just keep on braiding in this way until you added all the hair from this parting inside the braid Next, I will create similar parting also to the another side and I will create a dot braid on this side too. Take three strands and create a dot braid. 
add hair from the both sides of the braid and remember to add the same amount of hair every time so the braid will follow the same line and grow symmetrically Then I will put up the braids and some extra hair behind up to the ponytail and leave the rest just open. At the end I remove the elastics from the ends of the braids and here you can see the final result. <laughs> 